Hey everyone, welcome to the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to hang out in between videos, come check out the Discord. We're doing exclusive content over on Patreon right now. We're in the middle of the second world. We're doing Mamamoo TV Season 4. And this week we have Studio Moon Knight with Davici. Um, and maybe, maybe not continuing uh, Strong Girl Dobong soon. I had a great time with it, but you guys let me know what you thought of it. Uh, but today... We are into our next Reve Festival album, uh, Reve Festival Day 2. So let's go. Okay, first up we have Umpa Umpa, and it's MV. Okay. Ooh, that bass line. It's a cute song. Ooh, that hook, though. They are kind of the queens of summer concepts. Little Monopoly going with the summer concept. Weather woman joy, huh? Ooh, with the clap track for the final chorus. So is the concept like they wanted to go on vacation for summer and they wanted to go out and play on the beach, but it just kept raining and uh, then they sent out Solgi to go fix the TV when it was uh, the weather person, like the uh, reception wasn't good and somehow fixing that allowed them to go 
have the the weather clear up after that and then they were able to go play near the end or like it started to uh get sunny near the end and they opened the door but they closed it again like ah nah never mind we're okay with it the way it is don't know but let's check out the lyrics So is Oompa Oompa like a breathing sound, like an onomatopoeia for breathing? And the idea is just like, you're good as you are, just breathe and we're good. Both a happiness and an ice cream cake callback, huh? Hmm, okay, so like breathing and you'll float in the water. Okay, that's a neat analogy. Joy. Yeah, so, like, not really sure where the story from the MV ties into the lyrics, but it's just kind of like, hey, you're, like, be a little more confident, be a little more assertive with yourself, because, like, you're fine, you're, I like you as you are already, like, don't be so timid, just breathe, you'll be okay, um, felt like the message of the song, um, and it just had a nice, like, it was kind of in between some of that hyper pop summer stuff that they do and one of their more vibey tracks. Um, cause it, it wasn't getting me like jump out of my seat, hyper excited, but it wasn't, you know, like fully in the vibe spot either. It was this nice middle ground 
um, that was really in like an interesting pocket for them to find themselves in. I like that. Uh, all right, let's check out. Ooh, we have a dance practice. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, they do that so well where they do that kind of line up choreo and then the fan out. It's always fun when Wendy kind of gets her own little, like, aside when she hits one of those huge notes like that. Like, it's practical from, like, letting her stand still and also, like, a really cool visual. They have some really intricate, like, full swing arm movements in their choreo. Like, a lot more than a lot of other groups. Or, like, huge, big, swingy kind of arm movements. <laughs> Ooh, that dance break though. Kill it, Sulgi. Ooh, Sogi had like a bit of a different choreo than the rest of them in that section. That's cool. Oh, that's fun choreo, man. They did a great job with that too. Okay. Um yeah, I think I said most of what I wanted to say about the choreo while we were watching it, but um, I will say that it was like really nice to be able to focus on it directly without a lot of the camera angle switches that we get in our live performances. So I always appreciate when we do get a Red Velvet dance practice because it's very rare and very nice. Um, especially because you can really see how talented uh, they are as dancers as well. Um, even though that's not something that they're like usually highlighted for in terms of what people talk about when they talk about Red Velvet. You know, you know, usually it's just their mind blisteringly good vocals. Um, but their dance is no joke either. And uh, some of those Solgi sections, she was just tearing it up. All right, let's watch a live performance. Just me. 
Love that bit. Joy seems like she's really feeling it in this one. All right, own that center, Yari. Yeah, there's something about when that clap track hits in the third verse that is just like, mm-hmm. Oh, so Irene had kind of a different choreo too on that side. Both Solgi and Irene had like a little bit of a difference to what was going on from the rest of the choreo. Neat. Yeah. Oh. Oh, there's even more. So much Oompa Oompa. Uh. Okay. Uh, one second, because I'm going to turn off Discord, because we got that little announcement ping there that I want to avoid. Um, always forget to do that. All right. This is a live performance on a stage somewhere. Not really sure where. SBS? This is like a very relaxed setting. <laughs> They're like, we can do the choreo too. Or their body just can't help but do it.
Their vocals sound unbelievable in this kind of setting. They're like, yeah, we'll do that for the dance break. Sulgi uh, harmony there on that ad lib was nice. Okay, before we get into Carpool, which is our next uh, song on the album, kind of like sum up umpa umpa uh, or umpa umpa a little bit there. Um, really vibey, really fun, and like some really impressive choreo. I think the the thing for me with this song is that it does way better when you pair in the choreo and the live vocals because it sounds amazing um especially like that sketchbook performance was was killer um would i like call it one of my favorite red velvet title tracks no do i like it a lot yeah because even a red velvet track that's not like one of my favorites is still stellar um they don't miss at all. Uh, but yeah, I know Carpool a little bit, I think, from Killing Voice. So I'm very excited for this. Let's go. Me, baby. Yeah. This is one of my favorites from Killing Voice. There's something kind of like old school retro vibes about it that I really like. Kind of reminds me of like old like Jackson 5 a little bit. I love Joy's voice on this track. 
There's something like really round and full about it that just like hmm, is really amazing. And of course we get a uh, harmony version for the final chorus. Feels like the energy picked up for this one. Ooh, and it ends with fireworks. Fun. Okay, so like the song was about um, being interested in someone and inviting them on a trip, right? And like, we'll go anywhere together. It's summer, we're gonna have fun. It's uh, like carpool with me, I want to go somewhere with you, um, specifically, right? Like, it's a it's a fun summer bop that just like the vocals on it are face meltingly good. Just all of it just was stellar. Irene, Yeri, Killens, uh, some like lower tone, breathier um, vocal lines, and then. Team Rocket in the middle, just like running all over the track. Um, and then for the chorus lines, those harmonies. Mm, that is a very, very good B-side. I almost think it could have been the title track over Oompa Oompa. Um, but that's just me. All right, let's check out a live performance oh our fa uh, we got a bit of a fan cam going on in london Okay, Solgi. <laughs> Those are some boots there, Wendy. <laughs> I'm 
I'm wondering what the focus is on this fan cam on the boots, but they're into their their fashion, I guess. <laughs> Looking to see what's in the toy's pouch? What's in there, Solgi? You can tell their energy is just like infectious. They're having such a good time on stage here that it's just you can't help but also have a good time. Oh, 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 oh. Before love is the way. Uh, yeah, like I'm not quite a hundred percent sure what was going on with some of those camera angles, but like I would have died if I was that close uh, at a Red Velvet concert. So. I guess I can understand, right? Like if, if you, the strength in your arm just fails you to hold your camera up a hundred percent of the time because it's just too hard, um, because it's red velvet, like you go weak. Yeah, I, I get it. I understand. Um, okay. Next up. Love is the way. If you take your mouth off. It's like an old school kind of almost like doo-wop kind of vibe. I don't know why I'm getting kind of like Gnarls Barkley kind of vibes from this production and, and like style.
Yes, that four and one harmony is really cool. Hmm. Fun. That had some like really interesting styling to it. I think um, the production choice, like going that retro, but with a, like a modern flair to it, um, was fun. And like, it didn't go insane, right? Like it was a very like in the pocket kind of song and it was just fun, right? Like it didn't need to be overly com complicated or um, really like push the envelope all the, that much it just knew what it wanted to say and it said it in a fun way i enjoyed the shit out of that um let me know if there's any artists that this song reminds you of like i'm just getting that kind of like gnarls barkley crazy kind of vibe a little bit and um yeah, I think that's that's the the one that I'm feeling like the most of, but there's got to be some others. Um, okay, next up we have Jumpin'. Yeah, here we go again. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Festival. I gotta imagine, like, if they played this live, that, like, the crowd would be absolutely jumping their heads off with, uh, with this one. Excuse me. Hmm. That bridge, though, kind of bringing down the energy. Wonder how the build is going to come back in. Here we go. Ooh, Wendy going off in the back there. Hmm. 
Uh, if I was not sitting down, I would be jumping. Um, but yeah, I think this might be my least favorite of the tracks we've heard so far. I like it. It's fun. Um, I think for that chorus, I would have liked a little more energy in the production itself to go with that vocal to really get that thing bouncing. Um, as it stands, it's still a, like a good song. I liked it, but I, I think it could have used even more energy uh, to really make it like a crowd banger at a concert. Like maybe like a little hint of like EDM or something like that would like as a remix would be kind of cool. Hmm. Okay. Let's check out. Oh, I know Ladies Night. We've heard this on The Killing Voice. Uh, let's go. I think, right? No, that was Ladies Room. I don't know Ladies Night. Joy. Ooh, that brass. I am living for this production. Like the the strings, the brass, and the electric guitar all going at once. Mm. Meanwhile, they're just like absolutely dropping velvety vocals all over this. these harmonies to close out the lines. Ooh. Is that Wendy? Ooh. note on the ad lib in the back Oof. um 
Ladies Night is fighting Carpool for favorite B-side. That's a tough fight. Oh man, that song was fun. Um, and we get a live of it. Sweet. Uh, I would kill for a live band version of that. Oh, it's a V-Live concert. Nice. I still like have a hard time believing how good they harmonize or how well they harmonize live. It's insane. <laughs> oh, Solgi, that run. Here it comes. That's fun. Oh, up, up, up. All right. Uh, last track after that phenomenal one was Eyes Locked, Hands Locked. Um, I'm not sure what kind of vibe we're getting. You Sometimes we get like a slower ballady kind of song on the last track. Uh, sometimes we just get something that's wildly different from the rest of the album. Let's see what we're in for.
little R&B slow jam kind of vibe. Yeah. Yeah. Yari's voice fits this kind of track so well. I'm getting like 90s R&B, like maybe like some Destiny's Child kind of vibes. lower register on these kinds of tracks is just like fan fucking tastic whatever you say joy This is just, this song is just gonna put me in like permanent stank face. I do, oh. Mm. Oh, that was so good. That was so good. Um, all right, yeah, I think. Ooh, carpool, ladies' night, and uh, eyes locked, hands locked are my top three from this one. I don't know what order it ends up in, but holy crap, those three songs really, really killed it. Um, let us check out our final video here on a bit of a different site. We gotta go. Uh, Hop on uh, over here to get our live performance of Eyes Locked, Hands Locked. Ooh. 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 Is this R to V? I'm not 
The rotating stage seems to be like one of the regulars at their shows and it just really works for this. This song and this performance is just like sending me to my happy place. Oh. It's coming, the stage is coming down for the final verse. Is this like the end before the encore? Oh, wow. That's an intricate set design. Oof. So, like a music box closing? Wow. absolutely stellar way to end that album i think oh i think those three songs alone like you could have put those three songs uh carpool 
Ladies Night and Eyes Locked, Hands Locked on a album by themselves, and I would have been 100% pleased by it. The other ones are fantastic too, but that's all I needed. Um, uh, that all being said, what were your top three tracks from this album? Um, and why am I a dummy for my choices? Um, anyway, I'm rambling. Uh, I think that's going to do it for us for tonight, though, guys. So till next time, love you. Bye.